What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Homebrew Subaru. I'm going to try and keep this video short because I just don't have a lot of time and I really want to get this video uploaded. Uh, last weekend I did another car in my driveway. This weekend I was busy doing other things. Next weekend I've got an appointment out of town. So I really want to just get the WRX up on jack stands, drain the oil out of it. We'll have a look at the oil. I may get a couple more little things done on it, but you know, I don't really have a lot more planned because I do want to edit this video and get it uploaded, at least for something to watch. Get a start on the car so that literally I can't pull anything else in my garage and that's what I could tell people. But uh, at least get an, I'll get a little bit of an overlook to see if there's anything that I'm going to have to soak in penetrating fluid or um, think about anything I might need to get this thing apart and back together. And that's kind of the story with this thing. I don't really know anything about it. Uh, having a good look at the oil will let me know how much material may have gone through the cylinder heads and then just get a general overlook to see what kind of maintenance has been done on this thing but i am going to get it up on jack stands and start draining it out so i really don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up uh, but you can see quite a bit of glitter in the oil as it's kind of just coming down the the drain pan here yeah quite quite a few sparkles a few little bigger ones these chunks and stuff over here and that little piece of wire that's just stuff that was previously in the pan but I'm just kind of looking at the stuff that's really down in there kind of sticking to the pan and it does all look like bearing material but it's not crazy excessive, so it's a good sign. But it's not like I didn't know this thing had a major problem. Uh, obviously, something has really let go. And it's likely a rod bearing from what I think anyway. But looking at the bottom of this thing, it's really dry and uh, relatively rust-free. I mean, the, the subframe looks good. Even the control arms are in pretty good shape. Looks like it had a tie rod done there. The, uh, the coil over suspension will be coming out of it, I'm sure. The downpipe's taken a couple hits because this car was pretty slammed. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna plan a couple maintenance things here. The oil pan, I'll probably try and clean that up and, and reuse that. But the uh, this exhaust manifold and the, the shield on it, I, I'd like to replace that with a stainless header. And looking further down the car, I mean, it's just a lot, a lot cleaner than the RS is, and that's why I'm planning on using this chassis. I've got most of the coolant drained out. It appears to be Subaru coolant than it was in there. I uh, ended up lifting up the rad at this end to get most of the coolant to drain out. The uh, I've noticed a couple little things over here. The intercooler isn't really fastened into place, and it's kind of like clamped down onto the wastegate actuator. So I'm not quite sure why that is like that. You can see it's sitting a little high over on this end. I don't really plan on using it, but I'm not, you know, you never know. I might change my mind at any moment. Uh, obviously we don't, there is no more recirc valve. This is blowing to atmosphere. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with that. Uh, this k and Typhoon intake system. I do kind of like the charge pipe and the uh, the little heat shield that's on it but the size filter that they have on this thing is just a little bit too big and i don't know if i'm going to be able to uh, source this in the aftermarket at a cheap price so i may uh, redesign the whole intake and may end up reusing that pipe and just fastening a different size pipe onto it so i can use more like a three inch filter on it uh, definitely gonna pull the ac I generally don't use AC ever, especially living here, uh, but this compressor is absolutely seized solid. Even the clutch is seized on it. So I'll get rid of the compressor, the condenser. I'll get rid of all the hard lines going through it and just take it back to the firewall that allowed me to get rid of that line going up top. Yeah, and then there's no washer bottle, no battery. So those are just other things I'm gonna have to figure out. I'll probably remote the battery to the trunk and I don't know if I'll do the same with the washer bottle, but 
So yeah, more or less, I just wanted to get a start on this thing, kind of get out here in the garage and get a, you know, get into it, if you know what I mean. Uh, the winter months are coming up and I am going to spend quite a bit of time out here. I got to gather some ideas too for the parts that I'm going to want to order first because uh, I'm going to probably start uh, yanking this thing out for the next episode and hopefully have it out on the floor so that it uh, can get a better overlook of the entire engine out of the car. But if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Leave your questions and comments further down below. And I'll see you in the next one.